This is this is the regular meeting, uh, the December meeting of the Historic Preservation Commission of the Borough of Fairhaven. The meeting is called pursuant to the provisions of the Open Public Meetings Act. Notice that this meeting was included in the schedule of meetings published in the Asbury Park Prep and noticed in the Two River Times and the Star Ledger on January 26, 2023, posted on the borough website on the bulletin board in the municipal building and has remained continuously posted as required under the statute. In addition, copies of these notices are and have been available to the public and are on file in the office of the municipal clerk. With adequate notice having been given, the Historic Preservation Commission secretary is directed to include the statement in the minutes of this meeting. Um, can we get a roll call? Mr. Pavlov? Yes, here. Mrs. Drummond? Yes. Mr. Anderson? Mrs. Mullen? Yes. Mr. Sluter? Yes. Mrs. Nandia? Yes. Mrs. Besora? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Mrs. Nanka? Okay. Uh, sorry, thanks for being here. Okay. We have a couple of matters on. The first matter that we're going to take is the old business of 839 River Road. It's Genevieve Diamond. It's the um, addition and renovation of the structure of our property. Welcome back. Good to see you. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, Charles, welcome. Yeah, just to kind of set it up the way it was the last time we were, we were here, there was issues with regard to uh, the lane in the back, whether or not that was public access. We concluded that it indeed was, well, we concluded because we don't have anything to the contrary in front of us to suggest otherwise and basically indicated that we had jurisdiction over the rear of the structure as well. Jay Anderson was going to interact with you as far as generating new plans and specifications. I don't know whether or not you guys communicated. And I know that both Jay and I think Joe went out to the site to do an inspection as to the work that's been uh, completed since our last meeting. Okay, so. Uh, I'll talk about, so uh, I went down to the town. The back road is a private road, but I still did what we said we were going to do. It's a private road. I spoke to the homeowners. <clears throat> they said, I wish it was a town-owned road because they were paved. And the town will pave it because it's private. It belongs to the homeowners. It's their easement. And uh, the only thing that the town does is take the garbage away and snow right. but, but the problem but is that it's said, a public thoroughfare. Yeah, so anybody that, can go on there. Yeah, that being said, I agree. What Jay said about we flip the roof line and keep the same cable roof going across, make the back look like the way the front was without doing the more contemporary roof lines. And I did it. I went down to the town. I went to the architect. I reasoned the plans, brought back to town, got my approvals, continued from there. So we'll, we'll start from the chimney. This is the first thing is about the chimney. So I... Uh, we removed the old brick chimney. I framed it in wood. I have all the, the pictures. Um, there's four chimney details. Once the roof put out a chimney on it. And the second one show I have pictures. The second one shows us framing out of wood and making the different le levels the way it was at one time. And the third and fourth show it being finished. Now it's getting routed and complete. Looks great. Yeah, so it looks like brick veneer, real brick veneer, red brick with the white <laughs> on it. So it kind of, it's the unit. Yeah. Same size and same location. Um, Joe, what, did you, what are your thoughts on what did you see out there? And... I looked at the back while it was being uh, framed and I saw the uh, framed opening for the windows. And I'm looking at the, the plan that you have. <laughs> and that, that plan shows the windows too. And do you have that photo? That I would do that. That's an extra. Yeah. I think it looks real, really nice. Yeah. 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 So at what elevations? Rear elevations. Okay. Okay, so I made my 
which Jay mentioned last time, is flip upstairs backwards. We could make same cable loop come across, and I could put the Yankee flat roof on the right side of the bathroom, and and the, the columns are there, and I'm making those columns to match the four columns, the six columns in the front of the house. The same detail, and then uh. Um, I used the smooth party side like we said we're gonna do, and I trimmed all the windows and matched the rest of the windows in that other house. It looks really nice. And the corners are the same size, everything's the same size. Other than uh, finishing out, uh, you know, doing the finished work and printing the columns on, what else do you really need to do in the back? What else is are you planning to um, do? So the, oh, oh, I want to do the I want to do the same arch above the Front. The decorative gable arch. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing I'm doing all that trim the same as the match the front. It's on, it's on the uh, set of set of plans you have there. You're talking the about the arch down low. The arch is on the yeah, yeah. Over the I, I didn't get that point yet, but it's on the yeah, not the floor. Yeah, but not the uh that like flying buttress arch that's up at the top gate. Okay. okay. Yeah, I think that. I, I can't get yeah, because the window's there. Right. Right in the window. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So just to be clear on which arch we're talking about? The, the, four, all the, the porch arches. The porch arches. The column arches. Will be the same as the front. So any other thoughts or comments since you've been there about uh, you know, what we've discussed over the last couple of if, meetings? It matches just what we were talking about, <laughs> what we had discussed. And now it's going to show us the, uh, the e details. And it looks really nice next to the house next door, too, mm -hmm. which has been yeah. very period correct. For so all the eaves on the older store houses, you have a six inch tongue and groove, uh, the tongue and groove. And I, I did the same thing. So they're all done the same way. That's one detail you'll see there. Then there's, a, there's one way you see the siding was incomplete. You see the green siding, the yellow. I matched the window. So I, I left that one open so you can see the match from the sill. The historic sill all the way around the trim. I, 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 I had the crown made that matched the crown that's on the house. So it's exactly the same. I did the copper Yankee gutter in the in the um, in the flat roof. So that's one picture I'll say with this stub down. And the only thing that uh, we didn't do is do one of the button gut uh uh, shutters. Is that a problem? Uh, for the back of the house? Back of the house. Why would you plan on doing having no shutters at all? No. Yeah, I mean, um, my thought is on this that, you know, you guys have done so much with regard to, um, you know, trying to ma match the, you know, the rear addition to the front of the house and you've done everything you've said in terms of the front porch and you know the Yankee gutters, that you know, I, I I don't I think it's probably un unreasonable to require you to match the front with shutters on the rear, especially since there's a limitation. Again, there's this issue as far as the you know public visibility of it. And all the gutters will be half round the whole house. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Yeah, it's beautiful. I got three jobs from it, so it's doing well. Yeah. <laughs> um, so anything else that any other things that we haven't already discussed or things that are not on the plan that you propose on doing that we haven't already addressed or hasn't been part of our prior memos. So she has been a few if she wants to come back for the uh the walkway. No, I think we already addressed we that. Addressed that. Yeah. That's it. You guys already we addressed that chimney, chimney. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Chimney, you guys did above and beyond what you know. We were almost not going to force you to do the chimney, but it looked, I mean, the house looks so much better with it. Exactly. It really creates, you know, ties it all together. Mm -hmm. So, any, um, any <clears throat> thoughts or comments from anybody in the audience? 
Anybody on the commission? So, you know, th this case has come before us kind of in a unique fashion because the plans and specifications that you guys presented were not really usable. They were inconsistent. They didn't necessarily represent what was here. So we had to kind of treat it in a piecemeal fashion. And, um, you know, by you guys coming back, unfortunately, as many times you did presenting photos, you guys have demonstrated and, and even pursuant to inspections being done in the field by Jay. I'm sure Jay would say the huh. same thing by Joe. You guys have done everything that we wanted wanted you to do, and we really appreciate uh, you know your patience and cooperation. And um, you know, I uh, as a result uh, will make a motion that we fully approve the application based on the work that's already been done and the things that we're talking about now today that will be included in the memorandum will be uh, uh, the decorative gable arches that will match the front on the rear porch, um, rather the porch arches to match the front and the rear Yankee gutters, which are consistent with the front with the half round gutters all around. Um, and no, no requirement that you um, uh, supply uh, shutters on that. So I'll make that motion. I'll second. Uh, Mr. Pavlik? Yes. Mrs. Cormans? Yes. Mrs. Mullen? Yes. Mr. Schluter? Yes. Mrs. Sora? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Thank you. Congrats. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank Thank you. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll hopefully get something out tomorrow. Hey, can I have your card? <laughs> well, we've got uh, the next application is uh, Beth Goodis. Goods. Goods. Goodis. Sorry. Goods. Come on up. 230, 23 Fairhaven Road. It's a roof deck and upper level renovation and addition. So we have significant proofs here. I've come before you, I think, oh my gosh, eight years ago. I'm trying to think, what did you guys Very do? Very similar plan. Oh, okay, uh, with this plan. With this plan, very similar, but I, I didn't follow through with it. I got the variances, you approved it. Uh, I never followed through with it. So I was going to say, what did we do? We approved it? We approved it, and we, I just never did. Uh, I never huh. followed through with that. Pat, do you remember? No. <laughs> How long ago? Uh, eight years ago. I think eight years ago. Was, uh, at, uh, was this the same? Do you remember any of us? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Sure. I'm sick of it back then. Because, so. uh, you know, I don't remember. Maybe you remember it, but I don't know. Uh, maybe I wasn't even on the commission back then. And my husband, Peter. Yeah, hey, Peter. Hey, uh, we, you talk, um, we talk. Yeah, yeah, we spoke. Yeah, 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 right. Um, but did you have did you get a memorandum of action or anything from the commission saying no everything was approved it was like thank god you're making the house look prettier than it is because i had the ice on the street <laughs> right but uh, they would have the, this commission would have provided a memorandum of action you know some type of a written well, document the plans are slightly different so okay. just in all due respect i'd like to show you exactly what yeah yeah uh, please tell us tell us all yeah. about it i mean uh, you, you have the plans in front of you it's, yep, you it's very similar so at, at this current point it's the last house on the end of fairhaven road uh right before where they plan to have the park um adjacent or uh, behind the um fairhaven yacht works so. oh that's so i have a very me. modern low lo like low flat has that been cool the park i'm not sure but Okay, and that's when you said the last house. I didn't know I'm that. A, that. I'm the last one on the hill before it goes down to the abandoned property. And it's very modern. Um, and I've always wanted to make it look more in line with the street. The reason I bought the property was because I would love the feeling of Nantucket and Fairhaven. Exactly. But I'm finally ready. We're finally ready because we've gotten married to just make the renovations on the house. And so the plans, as you'll see, you know, um, drawn by my architect show that we are no longer going to have the line of the house be perpendicular to the street, it will now look more um, parallel to the street with the addition above the garage. Uh, and the slope of the roof line, I think, is going up a, a small pitch, just so it's not so modern. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And um... One of the things that you know, I saw that you're doing is pretty significant uh, deck renovation and windows on the back and things of that nature. The uh, and it probably is obvious on your plans, but just tell us about it. The access point to the deck and the existence of that deck will be it will be visible from the uh, from Fairhaven Road. Really, it, the house is it's so awkward the way the house was positioned when I purchased it. It's very off center. Everything's kind of angled for the view of the Navasink, but it's not angled for the view of Fairhaven Road. Mm -hmm. So it's actually very private. 
right. on the deck. It's 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 very um hidden. You, you don't really see what's happening on the side yard. Well, it, to me, it's the backyard. It's actually the side yard, but it's angled, so it's not. Unless you go, you know, unless you go down the hill and you look back up. In the yacht, in, in the uh, yacht works yard, I was actually there. And, I mean, completely separate, and uh, I never realized, you know, where you guys were located on yeah. the back deck. But I was doing some stuff in the yacht works, and I, yeah. you know, had you guys were playing music, and my attention right. was blown. <laughs> I saw, you know, uh, what a great river view you have there. It is beautiful, yeah. and it is pretty concealed, to be honest with yeah. you. It's not something, yeah, you know, I've been living here many years, I never even realized that you no had that good spot yeah. back there. Yeah. Was there a historic house before this house? I, I understand it used to be a hotel. Mm -hmm. That's where the hotel was? Yeah. I understand that's what it was. Across the Van Tyne Van Tyne Hotel. Yes. That was yeah. there? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Um, when, what year did you guys purchase? Uh, I think it was 2014. Okay. And the, was there, I mean, was there, I assume that prior structure was completely demolished. Oh. And when was this house built? Uh, 80, no, 70 something, 70. Yeah, in the 70s. Any idea what was there before this house? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know if it was the remnants were still there. Joe, you, you looked here forever. It's a bungalow. I mean, I I, I gutted the at the bottom level yeah. uh, recently, which had no nothing to do with what we see on the street. And we found the structure of the house is literally a bungalow. Oh, there so was, some, some there was portion. no insulation, like it was definitely built to be like a bungalow house. So it's some portion great. of it is an original, is the original? The whole, uh, no, I think it was built in the 70s. Okay. All right. So our, what is our jurisdiction when there was no commission that oversaw protecting way back for your time in the 70s? Now a modern house, obviously a 70s style house is built. You're a, you're, what is our jurisdiction in this situation when the historic part of it has, that ship has sailed? Yeah, well, I mean, we clearly have jurisdiction just by virtue of the fact that the house exists in a, in a historic district. But, you know, you've got, there are some houses um, like the the other one that's the, the prairie style house, yeah. I think a house or two ahead of your, uh, uh, yeah. south of yours on Fairhaven Road. And, you know, it's not a contributing house to the historic district. It has no historic components. It's not wasn't uh, built in a way that is consistent with the other houses or even right. sympathetic to the other houses. So although we have jurisdiction, you know, it's a mo more modern structure now in, in its current state. And what you're doing is not necessarily going to enhance or make it any more or less sympathetic to the historic structure. So, you know, to your point, if the, the horse is out of the barn, there's not really that much that we can enforce. <laughs> So, you know, it's one of those things that um, you want to knock it down and build it like a restaurant, you know, an old looking house. That, would, <laughs> that may be a, a too high. Yeah, we have endless pockets, but it might be then it's great. <laughs> we don't. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, uh, the plan is very nice. I think it, uh, the actual plan adds a little bit more um, consistency and flow to the house itself. It's probably going to look much nicer from the street. The house is nice to begin with, but just a different style. Um, but I, you know, from a historic perspective, it's not like we can, you know, say, hey, you know, the roof angle or put shutters on it, or it would actually look goofy to add <laughs> yeah. to add historic elements yeah. such as on the second floor gabled and shutter. Oh, uh, I think that would almost be um, disrespectful to yeah. the look of the historic district to fake it in certain parts right. of a no, modern house. That's that, not right. what we would want. Right? Not at it's, all. It's yeah. just one of those exceptions, in my opinion. That. Yeah. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. Right. The, the drawings give it a nice character. Yeah. What you propose. That's the ball. The yeah. shed dormer is nice. Yes. Yes. You could yeah. turn it into a hotel. I like mid century <laughs> modern. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, any other thoughts? Any, anybody have any thoughts? Or, uh, comments or thoughts from the audience? Okay. So, again, I, I think that uh, the nature of our decision, and I'll make a motion on it is that since the house is not a historic structure and it's not really contributing in its current state, we're not going to impose any requirements that you may convert it into a historic structure. I think aesthetically and practicality and for all the reasons that you've mentioned, um, the house is an improvement on the neighborhood, um, but we really take no position from a historic standpoint. Can I just bring up the point of uh, materials? Do we 
want to have any jurisdiction on materials that are going to be used, but you wouldn't appreciate vinyl siding on it. Well, yeah, what's what's the thought on that? We're, changing. We're going to stay with the cedar vertical planks. The roof is going to be taken off, but it's going to be the same color, gray. And the, the trim on the, the trim is going to be minimal. wood or cedar. Asian, cedar it's going to be uh, wrapped aluminum. No, no. And I like the idea that you have the picket fence there. That bring that brings you part of yeah. the yes. whole group. So what is it like a T one eleven that's on there? Is that kind of I, I don't know if it's T one eleven or true board and bat. It's yeah, a it's a cedar um vertical plank. Yeah, I think it's board and bat. Board and bat. You think it's board yeah. and bat, yeah. Yeah. not yeah. the uh, yeah. the T one eleven is just grooved boards four by eight panels. No, no, I think I, I think I remember when we had work on it. It, it, board it was board and bat. So you have a, the, the small pieces raised off the, the surface. And um the board and bat. Yeah. And your plan is to replace it with that type. Same. Okay. Same and right. then the roof is it going to be an asphalt shingle? Um, just it's an asphalt shingle now, so it's yeah. same. Any other thoughts, Joe, about uh, replacement materials? Um, you said the windows are going to match with, with, with currently black. that yeah. with black. And currently, the soft that the old soft it was like some plastic. Wasn't even exact. It was gross. Yeah. So when I renovated underneath, we put cedar in the soft. Cedar tongue and groove. It's really yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. You can't see it unless you're underneath because the front door. Yeah, looks good. No, mm -hmm. no cedar roof. Can only go cedar roof. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the prices? <laughs> the cedar prices are so high right now. It's yeah, it's crazy. Any other thoughts, comments? No, it does look like uh, board and batten from the little I can tell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'll make a motion that we approve the application for the reasons that I mentioned in terms of it not being contributing. I'll outline that in the um, in the uh, memorandum of action. Um, and it'll be based on the representation that the siding of the structure will be replaced in its same form as it is now, which is a cedar vertical plank board and batten configuration. And um, with that, I'll make the motion that we approve the application. If you don't mind, let us confirm that it actually is board and batten. So maybe don't include that. In the, it's going to look exactly the way it looks. Yeah, we, they're going to match what's Cedar existing. vertical plank to yes. match existing. Yeah. yeah. Just in case. Just in case. The, yeah, there's specifications. I right. think it's just a board and then it's a group, then a board yeah. and a group. I don't know if there's a batten. So you don't yeah. want Joe out there to check. Yeah. Yeah. check. Yeah. Uh, exactly. If, if, if we're it's not getting then it's, it's very possibly T111 siding. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which it's was it's popular good. in the 70s. Yeah. yeah. It's cedar. I mean, it's it's cedar wood. It's wood. Yeah. 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 Wood. You have a second on the motion? I'll second. Okay. okay. Mr. Pavlov? Yes. Mrs. Drummond? Yes. Uh, Mrs. Mullen? Yes. Mr. Schluter? Yes. Mrs. Pesora? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. All right. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Oh, it's going to be great, though. Thank you so much. I'm glad that's, you know, so we, yeah, I guess otherwise, yeah, so much stuff. Just, just talk to the very Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've been there. Thank you. All right. Uh, do you need, you guys want your original? You we have the, 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 you don't need to. Yeah. If you don't want. You might want that. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yep, absolutely. Uh, the third application we have uh, new, under new business is Rebecca Padula, 31 to Normandy Avenue. It's a removal and replacement of existing windows, siding, gutters, socket, fascia, and roofing. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi. The house looks great. You did a great job on it. You we were here before. You were here before when you did the sort of renovation on the facade, didn't you? Well, nothing was done. So oh. that plan kind of fell apart. Okay, all right. Between architect and contractor, so nothing really moved forward. Okay. Um, I just ended up painting. Oh, uh, maybe that. <laughs> oh, <painting. laughs> just to freshen it up in the interim. So okay. now I'm just planning, to, I want to replace the windows, replace the, the bottom roof, um, of the entire first floor, and then put a metal roof over the the porch, um, gutters, 
Siding on the oh, siding on the second floor, which is was Gordon and bad. It's what I will replace with Gordon and bad. It's currently vinyl. Okay. Um, so like a party blank. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and the windows are going to be black. Yes. And black others. Yeah, the first thought is um, that, you know, this is again a, um, a house that probably doesn't have, a, a, it's not that contributing to the district. It, um, the original structure and the photos I'm looking at that, you know, had the, porch, the front porch and the, the addition put on the front, um, but it, it doesn't necessarily have any cues of a, of a historic structure. Mm -hmm. So it's. Um, when was it built? I believe 1917. Any photos of what it was originally? No. It looks like I mean, the one house one. next door. It was, is it's a bungalow. Exactly. It's a bungalow. Yeah. yeah. The house next door is its twin, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh. So when you say, yeah. I'm curious about that. Can a bungalow have significant? Is this, sure. is any of it the original bungalow? But we don't really know what the original structure was. In which case, it would have was exactly like this one. It, it could, could be. be. Yeah. It, it looks like the bottom. So then it would be historically significant. With a little. Uh, but you want to explore the original yeah, exactly. part, and then they've got the additional yeah, the upper part the addition on the yeah. Yeah. the get parts put the addition yeah. on the addition on the yeah. in the 90s the um the yes mm -hmm. the second yeah. one so it was exactly right. like the one next yeah, to yeah, the I, guess you can see yeah. Style. I think we had this conversation last time because <laughs> it's stucco and that <laughs> i think oh i remember that indicates yeah, that yeah. it's not i don't know something about you know, the it being stucco is not really a historic, was not during those times. That's my recollection. So you'll leave the bottom stucco. Yes. And, leave the and I do do the board and batten up top. Correct. Okay. Yeah. And then are you going to have any grills in the window at all? Or I decided no. Um, I'm kind of rethinking that, but I think that you might want to rethink that because I think it would add to the charm. And maybe just look at some old um, windows from bungalow style houses. Okay. Um, I think it might just add to it. Okay. It the, the window it. person said he's gotten feedback with the grill. If it's just the one, so one coming down the entire window, people feel like they're in jail. <laughs> it's like, oh, my house is already small. So. <laughs> Maybe not want to go there, but I am actually rethinking that. I I do like the look. So well, uh, on the window, well, the main the window is you see with, with grill on the top, and then just single pane on the bottom. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's, that would be nice. That, that, okay. that would look really attractive on your style. Oh, no. Okay. What, what was that job? What was that? A uh, cottage style window with the grill at the top on the top pane, right. and a double hung window, okay. and then it's a single pane for the bottom. Right. Like six over one, or like a six over one. Right. Yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't like the six. And then the top one, or four, four over one. Yeah. Okay. Depending on the size of the window. Okay. Mm. You know, the door where you could really highlight with a grill. Okay. Which would be really nice. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you know, try and just have a like, good divided light and just more. Mm -hmm. It's significant in most And you're talking about aluminum trim around the windows. It says G8 aluminum capping around all windows. And that's it. The, the picture of the G8 is a uh, trim coil, aluminum trim coil, which is something that we usually don't approve of. What would be an acceptable alternative, Joe? Yeah. Um, in black, you know, Azek makes a black trim now. Okay. Um, that that's more like a wood type of material, mm -hmm. you know, because the the vinyl trim coil is like what you would use with vinyl siding. Okay. So do I see shutters on the windows or not? Just the front window. Okay. Uh, on the porch. Looks like it. So the things I'm hearing is uh, an AZAC window trim as opposed to aluminum. 
uh, hardy plank siding, which you've already indicated that you're going to be doing, and uh, a simulated divided light windows, um, both on the front porch and on the front gable. And uh, in what kind of configuration would you think? I would say that on the one up top would be like a six over one, and the one on the porch would be six over one. And the one up top, maybe you do a nine, uh, depending on the size. I'm trying to see what's, what is there. Is it? Uh, no, it's just a open piece of glass. Open yeah. glass. I don't like the six over one. You don't like that? No. What about something like the ones that, so maybe, you know, I I can't really, I'm not sure, like it has a V and then a line down. It's like an old Oh like yeah. Victorian. Yeah. Are those? I, I don't know what you would call that style. That would be up to Jay. Um, it has a little bit more. What, what, what about a four over one? So just an, like an X kind of four squares. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm open to that. Why, why don't you like the six over? One? I don't know. It just reminds me of growing up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> our, houses, our windows at home. So you're admitting you grew up. <laughs> um, you can clearly tell. <laughs> I, I you know, because I'm looking at you casino, know, there's, you know, by putting the black trim in, it's becoming a little bit more of a modern structure than it yeah. is now. So I think you almost have to level it out with some of the things you're suggesting. Right. You know, soften the windows a bit. Um, I kind of agree with that. Whether it's some kind of decorative, like mullion type thing or, uh, or, you know. If you're doing, you're redoing the siding on the top around the the dormer as well as the upper part. Yes. Okay. So the trim up there, are you? I would assume that that was also going to be the capped aluminum too, as opposed to a solid board. What's there now is is aluminum trim over over wood. Well, we're we're looking for AZAC trim. We would be looking for AZAC trim up there. Right. So the, the problem we're having is that um, the windows are, are causing a bit of a dilemma in terms of getting an approval. And um, we don't really have it. Usually what happens is that people come before us and present a style or a particular form of window, for example. And, you know, we address that, but we don't really have an alternative. So we can come to an agreement or make a requirement of a particular type. Um, or if you want to shop or like look for windows and so, you know bring back a couple of alternatives, you could do something like that. I don't want to, what I don't want to do is I don't want to corral you into a certain thing just to kind of, you know, get the approval. And then, you know, you go to a builder and you're like, well, it requires that we have six over one because you're going to be stuck with that. Right. And I don't want a hasty decision. Um, but I do think, uh, I think that that's probably something that is, um, uh, you know, a little bit of a game changer in terms of having having grills and having some type of you know softening of those windows. That's great. What did you say the building was? It was built nineteen seventeen. Yeah, I believe so. I mean, that would that would fit in with the like either thick and over one. Like, I'm not even trying to really understand what that is. What is six over one? Like, well, like so six, then not eight, eight, and then not six, eight. Eight. okay. Yeah. yeah, panes on the top. Yeah, okay. The sash. Yeah. In the bottom sash would be just one single. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You walk down and look at my house. I have six over one, so I'm the last house on the left onto Normandy. Okay. With all the windows down below, so and a gray on top. Mm -hmm. uh, so I had six over one, right and there are the original windows. And I think it would look really nice in your house. Mm -hmm. On your house. Okay. You know, you you have the kind of. It would definitely fit into the period of the street. Right. Okay. When was your house built? Do you know? Uh, 1923. Okay. It's about the same era. Yeah. Trying to find an image for it. Here we go. Right. You know, it's easier to wash when they're just plain. Do <laughs> you want to say it's just over one? I know. <laughs> we provide, you know, all this you know, service to that. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, that looks nice. Yeah. Let's see. Let's it is nice. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 to trim it. Oh, what's that? What's that? I've got that in my house too. Right? It's six. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've got them on my house. I think that's great. Yeah. Do you want me to order them for you then? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you make sure you put your credit card? <laughs> <laughs>
Um, okay. So six rather than four. Right. Okay. And that will be both for the front porch windows and for the, uh, the uh, dormer cable. The dormer, I don't know. What do you think, Joe? Because the dormer is um, too small. It's too small. It would almost. You well, know, we have Jay here too. You can see. We're um, we're reviewing this application, but feel free to come on board. Jay's an architect, so. Are you sure I missed the bill no, really? Well, we're pretty much you know it's a house that you've already seen before that we've uh, addressed. It's um, you know, your comments and. Insider welcome. It's the um, 31 to Normandy Avenue. Not this one. Not this one. Is that the wrong one? It's the, sorry. Mm -hmm. There's another situation. We are discussing a six over one window, and then the question is, I know, I have to do what do you think, like a six long? Yeah, I just think it is like it's small enough to be just like the one of the top lights on a double hunt, right? So, just the six. So just a uh, strip six divided. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just the six panel sash. What's the room behind that window? It's my basically it's my living room. Oh, I'm really? upstairs. Oh, it's a wall. It's, it's that's it's upstairs. The living room yeah. upstairs. Uh -oh. oh, so oh, how high is it from the floor level? Oh, so this I mean, is it not top of the ceiling, so it's yeah. not like you're looking out that window. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, I can't even reach it. I mean, it's oh, probably okay. 20 so bad. Oh, so then that, oh, so yeah, that won't feel complaining at all. Just, no. you know, I'm thinking if you're looking out this window, it's going to be a problem. That'll give you a nice light, and then it just has the firm. Oh, so it's just a little bubble at the start. No room now. It's a big room. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Even more reason now that I know it's more of a decorative window yeah. up high. Yes, yeah. Uh, as opposed, to, I was thinking of like someone living in there working. You know, what would it be like seeing those grids? Yeah, at eye level. There's no one at eye level looking at it. That's a, up high. It just feels like a weird shape because it's more square. Yeah, yeah. To have six, a six screw like that doesn't. Nothing that looks. I just think the consistency of the grid pattern. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The double hung yeah, yeah. there. Yeah. Would, right. would, you weren't convinced we squished that many yeah. dividers. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's what yeah. you see. It. Yeah. Is that would that have to be a custom made window based on the size you guys think? Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's uh... <laughs> Is that a standard so I mean I can make any kind of I don't know the cross of the standard size question. Mm -hmm. Changing the siding, it's all going to be hardy board. Mm -hmm. Discussing the trim that the trim should be. And she has proposed the uh, aluminum trim, aluminum trim coil in black. And we were suggesting the AZEC in black. Yeah. Uh, so, so um, yes, yeah, so the, although you got to be careful with AZEC and black because it it's so a, but now they make an ASAC in black just for that. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Or, or one that uh, will, will paint up. Yeah. yeah, they have it actually black. Like so is, there, is there any issue, because I have no idea, using ASAC with stucco? Is, is construction wise, you can do that? Yeah, I okay. think it is. No, no problem. Okay. Um, do you have any? Uh, I mean, you understand that you know, we're. Um, everybody's having their thoughts and comments on it. We're making these suggestions to you, but again, these aren't things that you're presenting to us. So I don't want to, you know, put you in a predicament yeah. where you feel like you're, you know, being forced to concede things or do things. If you want to think about it, if you want to research it, if you want to look at, at images and make your decision, because you could have to live with this. So, yeah. um, you know, I don't, I, it's kind of up to you how you want to handle it. Yeah. Um... And the final question would be the uh, metal roof on the porch. Oh, right. We didn't even address that. So the metal roof, you know, for a while, we were kind of against metal roofs, but, uh, you know, because we, they weren't 
you know, necessarily consistent with purity, yeah. but but we've allowed that we moves on a couple of different structures since yeah. then. I've seen a couple on a Gillespie, I think. Um, um, was it Gillespie or maybe they're on a bike together? Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and uh, so I think, it, you know, um, and again, this is a house that has limited, I won't say no, but limited contribution. So it's not like it's going to become into more inconsistent as a result. And that portion of a very low pitched roof to that portion. Could you stand in and see a line? Yes. Okay. And will that be black as well? Yes. But you know, it's an interesting point, Art, in that. Um, I think just having it be consistent in itself is going to probably make it more fitting because it having the two story part of it right behind it, it really pulls it out of it being a, a much of a contributing mm -hmm. uh, structure. Um, so what do you want to do with the windows and so forth? Um, I want to get this done. So I'm um, it would be, it would be, we meet every month. So. All right. I'm going to think about the windows and I will go back and make sure that the company I'm working with can do the AZAC on the windows versus the <clears> whole <throat> and I'll confirm all that. Yeah. yeah and so, and just so you and know, talk about the trend too around the, re the rest of the, the, uh, the house that you're doing the work on, you're changing all the siding on that upper part, right? The second floor? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So then all that trim would probably be being changed too, because you're talking about black. So we would be looking for the, the black ASIC trim up there as well. Okay. And then for the uh the dormer, you know, it's like the snowball starts rolling and you start like addressing all those areas. Okay. Yeah, so the things that we're talking about, just so you you know. Uh, are the AZAC window trim and second floor trim in the, in the black AZAC, the hardy plank siding, which we've already agreed to do. Mm -hmm. We're in agreement on that. Uh, simulator actual divided light windows, six <laughs> over one on the front porch level, and six panel window is part of that dormer, dormer gable window. Yeah. Um, and those things are probably, uh, you know, just hearing the temperature. Or the, I'm treating this as an informal, which would be if you just came in to get sort of the idea of the commission without actually calling for a vote, even though you came in on a formal application, we're kind of converting it to that since we're not going to take a vote on it, like, we, you know, spend time thinking about it. But that, it seems like everybody's a pretty stuck on those kind of things. So, um, you know, unless there's a, another alternative that you can recommend or a thought, and if you have particular window styles, the more specificity that you can bring, then that sort of thing is always better. Okay. Photographs, images. Well, like I said, I wasn't planning on doing the grill. So no, I, 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 I know. There. Yeah, but so. I, I think you're probably making the right decision because, again, it's a uh, it's way, you know, come up with, if you have some alternative or something, again, yeah. I don't want to railroad you into a decision that you're going to have to live with. Is the grill going to make, be a deal breaker? So if I decide I don't really have the grill, will that? I mean, that's what I was kind of suggesting. So it seems like everybody's kind of interested in that and uh, feels fairly strongly that I think it makes very good sense. Uh, and it does kind of um, a story sure, within, the, within the district, any of its various homes, have, 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 especially the black trim. Yeah, I mean, it's making it more. Currently have grills in my windows. That's why I was asking. But, but it's making, you know, with the black trim and everything, it's making it a little bit more of a modern structure. Um, you know, kind of sort of seemingly modern structure. So I think it's kind of an accommodation. And are those the original windows in the house? Or no, not? I don't. I think mean, they're yeah. not. Yes. So they, 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 they probably so had the grills early on. Yeah. And then when it was renovated at some point, that's yeah. when they took those windows out. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I agree. Yeah. I, I, I'm sure that's what's, what happened. I just think we're trying to keep the historic district as charming as possible and, and keep the, you know, as much of the detail in those houses as we can without pressuring you to, to spend more or do something that's out of line. Yeah, if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, I will um, do some research and look and see what I like the best and come back. Yeah, I mean, okay. next one. That's a good choice. Yeah, or you know, whenever you whenever you want. Okay.
Thanks, Thanks everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we've got some old business, which is the Bicentennial Hall, this chapel stuff. Katie, maybe you want you're the liaison, so maybe you want to report on what's happening. Yeah, I guess I'll I'll combine the liaison report with okay. this chapel. Yeah. Um, I don't think Pat that there's been any new um progress on the specifics of the renovations to this channel. I don't know what I was told. Yeah. So there was a when we met last time we had um we knew about the ADA. Yeah, I don't think it was the last meeting. Were you I was here at this one, yeah. When uh, said, no, no, it's the last association meeting. No, I just okay. So um so, right, ahead, yeah, so then I can probably yeah. so uh, Alex pa Alexander, if that's first name, Pavlik, the historic yes. architect, has agreed to uh, revise his 2010 plan, and the town is going to fund that, um, and he's going to work uh, and you know come up with new points and priorities and a game plan, for lack of a better expression, as to what to uh, what to address first by way of maintenance and then for historic restoration. Um, and council is putting together a group of individuals uh, that are concerned that are stakeholders as uh, councilwoman um, uh, Cole. As, Cole. Cole yes thank you uh, mentioned <laughs> during the last been a long time, mentioned during the last meeting um, she's actually asked if I could be a stakeholder and do that I said I could I would accept it but it would only be on everybody's approval at the commission I would appoint you Katie to be a designee or an alternative mm -hmm. an alternate but just because you know being yeah. involved, it just they, makes have, sense. They, have, they had six names then, yeah. Right? And, it, and I was the historic our historian, you're on it by virtue of your historian. So I think your name was on it already. Um, Kate, I'm not sure, but I forget yeah, who the other we are. So that would be one thing, I guess, we'd have to take a vote on if you guys yeah. are cool. Unless somebody want to do it with that, unless somebody else wants to step up and do it, show it. So, so, in other words, so in other words, there was there was. <laughs> The commission and there's the association and now to get moving on the specifics and improving it they want to have a stakeholder kind of advisory mm -hmm. group. The advisory group now that have live is going to start addressing these things and move right. forward with it yeah. um so and it obviously i or you or yeah. both of us would represent the yeah. interests of the commission right. making sure that you know things are being monitored and then yeah, the, the proper <laughs> application would have to be brought here because any any decisions made would come before the commission, but we're sort of monitoring the progress and making sure that things are going in accord with what our charter is. Was is to make yeah, and the reason I and the reason I asked that is that already there. I'm not I'm not saying to a negative thing. There's confusion about the government, the the, the council's role in maintaining this chapel, the commission's role in having our eyes on the, and then now there's. These advisory stakeholder group, which I see it's needed, but it's sort of like a, a mini commission, so yeah, to speak, right. that her whose charter is only to focus on advice working with the architect. And sure. I think so that makes I sense. I think Tracy Cole, uh, the, she's one of the six people. Yes. So that's because she's you know on the council. So I'm trying. I can't think of the others. I have they they sent around the list. So this is a like council group, right, Pat? This is an offshoot of the council. Yeah. Got right. it. Okay. Very yeah. Good. Creating a little Good. bureaucracy. Do do we take a vote? Yeah, I mean, uh, I just want to make sure. Yeah, it's good, yeah. I don't want to nominate myself. I'll okay. nominate Kim. <laughs> and I'd like to nominate our. Okay. Second. All right. I thought you said hour. I was waiting to see what came after that hour. <laughs> hour. Oh. All right. So I guess we'll vote on. Okay. Mr. Pavlov. Yes. Mrs. Drummond. Yeah. Mr. Anderson. Yes. Mrs. Mullen. Yes. Mr. Schluter? Yes. Mrs. Basora? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. All right. And uh, I'll nominate you as the alternate. So I guess we have to take a vote on that. Mr. Pavlov? Yes. Mrs. Drummond? Yes. Mr. Anderson? Yes. Mr. Smollett? Yes. Mr. Schluter? Yes. Mrs. Basora? Yes. Mr. Yes. Okay. And and thank you for doing for doing that. Yeah. 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 Um, and then um, I don't think there's anything new with regards to the ADA. They're just uh, they're working it up in terms of uh, some of the more uh, specifics as far as getting the grant and everything. But that was you know we talked about the last time that they moved uh, one of the bathrooms, so they're not gonna you know they're gonna get rid of the coat closet and try to do something else, but not 
we're going to build a bathroom where the coat closet is and either restore or maintain the existing bathroom and not have to build two bathrooms. Because of that window. Yeah. That's exciting. Yes. Yeah, some so it's still yeah. starting to happen. But I think that continuity will help yeah. a lot. Yeah. And having that common yeah. thread, you know, that, uh, yeah. No, it's great. It's a great asset. Well, it's great that we have everybody combined in one group because since 1995, we've been trying to get things done. And yeah. The council wanted it some way, and, you know. So now yeah. we'll have all six people from different groups. It's really hopefully it's going to be great. Yeah, <laughs> and and quite That's frankly, yeah. your your entrance yeah. and passion for this started. Yeah. You, not to overstate it, you came in as just a resident interested in it to rescue what was going on with, and because there was no advisory or board of stakeholders, was, that was. Uh, yeah, I mean, no, if they were going to tear great. it down, the council yeah. was determined to tear it down. And I had to go twice a month for years to the council meeting to make sure they didn't, you know, squeeze in something when I wasn't there. I, I, I'm not kidding. It was horrible. It was horrible. And and they specifically said, and uh, uh, I won't mention names, but one said, one council member said, I think we should tear the building down and build one that looks just like it. Right. And that was like, what? That's what they wanted to do, or several people. And I was like, whoa. So then I, I got my, you know, my hair straight up. <laughs> I was like, no, that's not what it's supposed to be. We want to go in because I go in and I see shadows on, on the wainscoting and it's where the, the pews used to be pushed up against. I still get goosebumps. I'm not going to get goosebumps in a brand new building. Yeah. And you see the craftsmanship, the way it was put That's together, right. which it shows, you know, hand hand worked things Absolutely. And, and everything that this wouldn't come out. Nathan J. Williams was the builder, and he also built the um, what's the what's the the the, the building next to it that where the, the they live the oh, the recreational part. But it's a parsonage. Thank you. That he built the parsonage also. So it's like. Leave it, leave it alone. Let's just fix it. So, because when, when we started even trying to raise money for it, it, the building, the walls were literally torquing in. That because they, they, they didn't put two major beams when they yeah. did all the cutting. They, 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 cut, the building, they yeah. cut the building. They never properly and never put the proper beams in. So it was, you could just stand there and see it, you know, <laughs> moving in. And then when it rained, the that's rainwater would pour down the walls. Yeah, the, rain, was, the rain knew all about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it was pretty bad. In fact, when we were in there, we used to like look up and say, I'm going to stand by the door just in case yeah, it would run out. It was, it, was, it was pretty bad. Yeah. Really, I mean, I'm amazed that, well, thank you know. You for, thank you for saving yeah. it. But it took so forever. It's like, come on, let's go, gang. We need to, like, I had the windows taken out, all the, the stained glass windows taken out, brought over to Blaisdell Lumber because all the lumber around around it never, was just rotted. Blaisdell Lumber, you know, fixed it all up, put it back in. It looks like crap now, the window, the, you know, the wood again, because it's not being taken okay. care of. It's not, it's all peeling and everything. And I, my heart, it hurts my heart. So, and we, and we, because we, you know, we, they never wanted to put enough money into it. And you have to do it like a, a, a chunks of big money, and they would give us a little bit of money. Yeah, you got to do it on a pretty little piece. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just not something like that. Maintenance, that was maintenance is the big, years is the big thing with that building. Maintenance for the rain. I mean, because I can see some shingles up on the top at the peak. Well, there's well, there you have, uh, have shareholders that uh, that's that's their mission is to. Stay on that. It's not to be on the council. It's not to be on yeah. that. It's about that. So it's great. That's what I mean. <laughs> but we shouldn't have, I mean, that we might have thought there was a maintenance list, and there must be a maintenance list for the whole town, you, you know. And, but maybe there is a list, but nobody's really looking at the list and saying, oh, like every month we should check the windows or every month we should check mm -hmm. all this stuff. So, and I'm tired. Man, I'm, All right, let's move on to the environmental mission. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's <laughs> probably three or four months ago at this point, but I sent an email out um, shortly after, um, and I'm going to have to refer to it to refresh my recollection because, again, it's been a few months now. 
Um, so there were two main things that were discussed. I mean, there were, there were a lot of things discussed, including even like potentially uh, opening up Fairhaven Fields to some deer hunting, bows. Really? That's, uh, yeah, that's, you know, not, not necessarily in our uh, purview, but um, Who's so. Who that? Who wants to do that? It's just, it's been, apparently they, they do it all over uh, Monmouth. I mean, even at Horshorn, Horshorn, and and uh, it's, it would be just bows. I mean, this is all, this was like, was like. Is that supposed to be more humane? <laughs> I mean. The, yeah, well, the, you know, the problem is, I don't even think it's about humane. Um, and I plead ignorance on, on, on this stuff in large part, but I think the, the concern is that the deer, the overpopulation of deer at this point is is causing all sorts of problems from environmental mm -hmm. to um birth and, like stuff with, with never control enough. birth control uh, apparently yeah apparently like stuff like that's not even yeah. part like they tried and they it's did. just they, yeah they, they've tried a lot this is just something that they were kind of spitballing about i, I have no idea if this was actually gonna happen just that was just kind of an anecdote of yeah the type of things that were discussed um so you're walking through the woods but, but, and you're and all of a sudden you have pow pow yeah yeah know, but it's bow, bow honey but you it would be just bow. but but the, the proximity of homes i would yeah. i can raise my they were all, I know was, there, you know no. and i said i can tell you my wife we have two young kids we live right around yeah. the you know yeah. <laughs> no the thought of it yeah exactly yeah. so so anyway um, all dogs are missing oh, yeah. 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 exactly um, well, they just go to somebody's yard and hang out, wait for the bow hunters to get away. You know? Well, apparently, if you have permission, you can go into some. Obviously, with the bow hunters' permission, you can go to their yard and hunt deer in, in someone's yard with yeah. with a rifle. Leave. I don't think you have to use a bow. Anyway. Wow. <laughs> um, good to know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you know, then you guys are in the so, in the market. I know. Well, you know, the duck hunting. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And you know, but they're out in the boat, but still. I don't want to, I don't go down to the dock when, the, you know, it's six in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Duck hunting season. Yeah, that's coming. Um, but anyway, so there were, there were the, the first, there were two primary things discussed. The first was changes to the ERI draft, the um, Environmental Resource Inventory. Um, and I guess it was last updated in 2017. There is a pamphlet, I, I don't have it with me today, but there was something they handed out that, I guess the, well, literally the last ERI itself, and it has a good, the introduction has a good scope of the overview of, of what its purpose and scope is. Um, in any event, uh, th there were certain things that were suggested uh, from people who were at the meeting, and I'm sorry to be staring down at my phone. I just I have to, to remember exactly what we discussed. Um, one example was having, I guess this would be more digital in form, was having an interactive map that could be posted on the borough website. Maybe in theory someday having literally like an app on the phone, which I think would be pretty cool. Uh, and it would be viewed, you know, could be viewed by residents. Um, and in theory, the map could do things such as show residents where various open spaces are located. You know, what one thing they mentioned, and I you know, I've been in town for not for a super long time, but about you know, almost a decade now. I had no idea where the bird sanctuary was. And I think it's my understanding it's kind of get like a lot of overgrowth and mm -hmm. and um, you know so like that's just an example it would show you where open spaces are boundaries of the historic district some historic sites so I think some of this was probably a little ambitious for for that particular document um, but it was some ideas that were were thrown out um, and and the main the main takeaway was they wanted us to kind of come back to our individual you know commissions for feedback on. Um, you know, I, I don't know if anyone here would necessarily have thoughts on the environmental, you know, resource inventory. Uh, well, the only thing that jumps out at me, given how we talked before the meeting started, if yeah. there's a group creating a digital interactive map of something, yeah, and investment and resources to create that map, yeah. Now, I, you know, it's not going to be word of shop small. You know, you, yeah, right. everybody's going to want to have a hand in what they yeah, do yeah. the map. But since we right. have talked about the historic district itself. You know, like a digitized walking tour, so to speak. I'm not thrilled with that. I know you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I used to give them. I'm, I'm reading you into the 21st century. century. Yeah, but you, that. I'm not going to debate whether it's good or bad, but I'm just saying uh -huh. I. That's the one intersection of potential that I see, as far as that, yeah. the map. I mean, yeah. it's good, but you're walking by yourself. So people ask questions when they see when they when I would give the tours for Brook. I used to do it for yeah. Brookdale. 
And um, the people would ask questions, and there's a human being there to answer questions. Yeah. When you have that, I'm not we're not replacing the human being. I'm just saying. Just, you'll just give them your phone number. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> just for your address. Yeah. <laughs> I've been here 28 years, and I don't know where the bird is. Oh, we're behind Harvard Road. Oh, yeah. Harvard yeah. Bunch of trees. Is that off a of ridge, right? So now? if you go, if you go yeah. right off of Hans Road, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and you go yeah. into right before you, you know, go up the hill, the power hill to the right. Yeah. And right after the Red Bank um, Harding Road, yeah, yeah, it's right there because yeah. it's actually Where, like, the, Harding like the, Road. the high school, yeah. right yeah. there. Yeah. yeah, so you have it's after that, and even I think it's the yeah. Harding Road for Sanctuary, yeah, yeah, right oh, there it's on the right hand yeah. side. Yeah, so this yeah. time of year, like a little wooden, I thought that was, yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah. if you pay attention yeah. and you, you drive, yeah. you'll see when kids riding their bikes on the trails, you see mm -hmm. people walking when now yeah. it is not much for you. And the entrance cleaning it up now, aren't they? So the entrance cleaning it up right and mm -hmm. nicely. Sure. So and the entrance to it uh mm -hmm. is between two houses on Harvard Road mm -hmm. and pretty not an insignificant entryway. Mm -hmm. Almost like mm -hmm. um you know when you go into Red Bank, you see that little plot of land. Welcome to Bear Maven. It's just yeah. a little three hundred feet by yeah, it's a little thing. Uh -huh. um, and the signage there is similar to the signage of everything else in town. That kind of bird uh, So there's yep. a sign there that says Bird Sanctuary. There's yep. two, mm -hmm. one off of Harvard and one that's visible from Ridge. Mm -hmm. Are there uh, trails there? There's a trail ish mm -hmm. there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't anything years ago that. Happened. I was afraid to go in because so I figured I'd be. As far as why, so as far as why it's called, you know, Susan, as far as why called a bird sanctuary, like how the birds know, you know, they fly everywhere else and they fly to that area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. know what makes it a bird sanctuary. I don't know yeah. more than a natural area. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. 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 Y
They don't, if nothing's said, yeah. Oh, but it'll yeah, be it, sometime? It's typically, court, no, no, I was talking about our next meeting in January. Oh, yeah. We could talk about it. it yeah. Typically, I, I think we've met three times over, like, over a year, uh, uh, like, in more than a year. So I don't know that we're really meeting quarterly, but uh, that's, like, the, the, you the know goal. You I've been wanting to do for years and years, and we, and we all decided that's a great idea to get the metal signs like down at the dock and have something explain when the dock started, Chandler's dock, you know, 1850 or whatever, stuff like that around town. Yeah. yeah. That's something I've been like really at pushing. So I just, yeah, I was in Norfolk for work and um, it, to your point, it was astounding. There's a, a walking tour, which, you know, I've traveled with my kids to Italy and those walk, those digital walking tours are the key. Mm -hmm. So much fun, yeah. but in, they have um, in the historic district of Norfolk. You look at the digital map, and that's linked up with like there are maybe eighty points. There are four trails that you can do, and mm -hmm. adding to those points was a corresponding oh um, placard uh, yeah. uh, uh, yeah. so wood and color coded for the orange yellow. Oh color wow! Color and so I did the orange trail first. Yeah, and yeah. I saw the orange that's placard yeah. with um, and there's some minimal stuff written on it, and then. Mm -hmm. Digitally, I looked at and painted the paper version of the pamphlet as well. Mm -hmm. What is very cool. What things do you think would be besides oh. the dock, which is clear, clear There's so oh, Memorial Park? Yeah, but you don't want to let's get your you blanket. Know, you want to, like slack every other yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everywhere. Your blanket like, that thing. Uh, it has yes. all certain. I mean, there's a whole bunch of uh, places, and and the the biggest place got torn down. The Nathan, the Williams house. On the end oh, of the yeah. yes, that's, that was like a special. Place. But there's a there's that's there's a, great a there's a bunch there's a bunch of places um, around. But like, no one also you know you don't um, have five yeah. everywhere. Your your family's house, the Foreman Smith house. That's that's an amazing house. Which and one is that? It's you know where she, uh, she lives. Yes, in a little blue yes. house. Right next door is a, a like an 1850 or or earlier house, earlier. Um, earlier. And to your um, left, Susan, as you're looking at the river, to the left, right. as yeah. you yes. And it's a, next time you every nobody oh, yeah. like they never they, they've been to the board. Okay, it, it's it's wow. it's an interesting. They replaced the fence yeah. recently, I think. I remember someone used yeah. to live on the street yeah. on Fairview. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they're on, on River River, 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 Mm -hmm. They did talk a little bit about uh, more stormwater runoff. I don't know if it, explicitly about about that, but um, to the extent there is any overlap, but yeah, the, the second bullet point I had was um, eighty percent of the focus w was stormwater with you know new construction and how that affects uh, runoff and what's going into the river. Um, so they said that that that's you know relevant there, and also just even like you know leaf having people putting their leaves out for you know six weeks before the pickup, and and the effect that has on on runoff and and stuff like that. So I mean, listen, the, the part part of this was just you know people kind of venting a little bit. Um, this did not really have any particular uh, historical significance, but it sounds like your your uh, point may. Um, so if that's something you want me to bring up, um, I'm just curious about it. Yeah. What, so what, I, what, what they're working, I know they're working on. They're oh, you know, the, I think actually, I think that was spoken about. What, what, what exactly are you uh, referring to again? The, the shoreline mm -hmm. at the end of Denormandy at the yeah. park. Uh -huh. it, you know, that like erosion or? Well, it, it, it's not eroding because there's a lot of weeds and things yeah. in there now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It does erode. Yeah. But yeah, they're yeah. talking about putting a living shoreline in there. So uh -huh. I don't know. If it, that was discussed. That's all. Not that I remember, but I'd be. I mean, if there's things that you know, you you guys want me to bring. Is this that, the that, phase two point of the project? Could be. That's I remember. Now I'm. Yeah. And now that they're probably buying the park, it could be. You know, we'll live with that. Right. Interesting. But the leaves with the with the uh, the water and everything, the runoff. I told the two guys that 
mow my lawn and do my leaves. So you've got to have the leaves raked and done by last week. They have to be done like that Friday or Saturday because they're going to pick them up. And they're not going to do it anymore till maybe March. I forget. Do you know they came back again and, and without my permission, went on my property and raked all the leaves that kept continually falling? Just yeah, today. today. They, so there's yeah, a whole pile in front of my yeah. house. I mean, I, honestly, the town's got to more than like once a season. Yeah. I know. Yeah. So I'm like, right. I'm going to get a ticket or something yeah. now yeah. because those. Yeah, I mean, the reality is. So do we have a uh, vote to approve the minutes? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Also, um, there's that house that was demolished. You, Joe, you've seen it right by your right by your house. That yellow oh, the, house, the corner of uh, Gowdy yeah. Lane. What's yeah. going on there? It's oh, a you know, poster yeah. child for uh, historic preservation. Yeah. It's a yellow, like salt box house that's, that's like diagonally across from the yacht club. Oh, good yellow. That, uh, How far? Just yeah, right on River Road. road or it's on River road. road. It's uh, yeah. Well, they they're, they're in the right. box. I have no idea. Is it outside? I, I drove by there the other morning, 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 and you know, I, I go that way pretty day. early, and it's still dark. And I saw the. Well, I don't know how big the property is, but there's a Susan. Do you know much about it? Actually, no. It's very close to your house, actually. If you go a little bit, if you're heading toward the Bumpson from your house, you go by the yacht club, and it's um. It's, it's Browns Lane right there. It's almost like, not Browns Lane, but yeah, it is right there. Browns Lane. It's directly, diagonally across on Browns Lane. It's on the corner. Okay. It's, it's, probably, it's gone by now because- Oh, it's gone. The other morning it was- uh, Is that outside of this garden? Yeah. Down? It's outside. Yeah, it, it definitely would have not happened. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Down at Lane Hill Yeah. Oh, okay. The zoning commission saying absolutely not. You can't take that down without going to the store commission. Because it's not- It's not in the store District. Yeah. Well, I mean, look at it. You'll see, you'll know when you drive by. Which, you know, yeah, I know. I, know, I, know, I don't know what it is. The house, but I know there's houses up and down the river road. Mm -hmm. There was houses when you get yeah, coming from Red Bank and when you get to Brunson. Yeah, all along the river. Yeah. I got to go off. Oh, I don't know. Okay, motion to adjourn unless Susan's got anything for us. No, all good. All right. Thank you. 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 Thank you.